Okay, it is Sunday evening. I have two hours before the bins close. I think they stop rotating in like an hour. So we have a little time left to go in and see what we can find for those of you new. I am a reseller and my all of my stores are called Hello Handbags on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And my name is Charity, and I find most of my stuff at the Goodwill bins where you pay by the pound. So a lot of the stuff I get equals to about a dollar, a dollar fifty each item. But if you all want to come with me today, I will be putting in a clip right after this too of my um, booth that I have set up here locally. Um, because some people have been asking and I do have a clip on one of my videos. It is at the end though So I will put it in it's only like 30 seconds right after this so you all can see how it's going But let's go in today. See what we can find Okay, I'm gonna take a look at these front clothing bins first because these are the bins that they wheel away. Oh, plastics and tears. They're pretty decent. I wonder if they're still decent. I don't really pick them up. It's been a slow sell for me, but this is kind of cute. Maybe. That's a maybe. Um, but yes, these are the um, bins they take away first at the end of the night. They take them away like 45 minutes or so before they close and they stop rotating I think like an hour or 45 minutes maybe before they close so. Arrow. Uh, but the last, I don't know. Two or three times I've been here on a Sunday evening. I found some like pretty decent things, so we're gonna give it a go. Give it a go again. See what kind of fun we can find. I am really hairy. Oh my lanta. Looks like I've been bathing in cat hair. large knitted and knotted bunch of oil. Made in Cambodia. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Yeah, anyway, they ruined it, so. Some people like it, though, to be honest. They like a good ruined piece of clothing. Victoria's Secret bodysuit. Oh, that's spicy. if I give it a good wash sanitation charter club those are cute though it's like a corduroy leopard print Also, this is where people do a lot of their throwbacks. 
because it is next to the checkout. So, Armani Exchange. What? Is Armani Exchange decent? Armani? I mean, I know where Mommy is. I don't know, I'll look it up. Ashley Stewart. 3X. Are you Pearl Snare? No, you're a Hidden Snare. I don't want that. That little guy just hid in a way. Mm -hmm. Is this a robe of sorts? A Victoria's Secret. I don't really pick up Victoria's Secret robes anymore. The lingerie seems to do pretty decent. Ever after something work quote? I thought it was a bunch of tissue paper. I was like, hmm, I might be able to use that. Club room. It's kind of a nice print. It's like little sailboat. Oh, what is this? This is a Brown Target. I've sold one thing. Ooh, those are some fun pants. Some weird staining though. Uh, I've sold one sweater and it sold pretty well. Tap up a brown for Target. What are you? Japna Kids? to the row of breakables. And then I'll continue the closing. Very loud music. Oh, that's too bad. Italy. It is pretty chipped up. Mondo. Llama. Wheel set painting craft kit. <laughs> Surprisingly, the thing that's selling the best or most at my booth is mugs. People are like really about the mugs. I think people don't like spending a lot of money and I only price my mugs at around $10 a piece. So I mean, I don't feel like it'd be any more than that really. 
But anyways, yeah, the mugs are selling, so maybe I need to focus on that a little more. Oh God. It's a slippery, it's a slippery little fish. Oh, this goes on top of something. But of, of what? A mystery. Oh, that is heavy. Jeez, that's heavy. You would have been better off paying $2.99 at Goodwill. Oh, there's a bunch. What are you? Gibson. Mystery. Target. Royal Court Japan Carnation. So pretty. They were $2.99 a piece at Goodwill. Okay, let's look at this. Hold on. Um, I thought I saw some more. Oh, they're on the other side. Okay, hold on. Detour, detour. She really filled that cart. She filled that sucker. Where's a nice Snoopy mug? 2012. Is this the Velveteen Rabbit? Oh, you're so beautiful. Salvation Army. I don't know if this is decent, but I'll give it a little peek. A little a peek. Looks like there's a bunch more of these. And then there's some of these rose ones. This is really heavy. Strangely heavy. Some point set of plates totally today. Good housekeeping. Okay. Kind of pretty gloss. Meat on it. Um. Oh, that's why. Right. I am running over their trike. Trike. A little heavy. Got a vacuum. Okay, I'm gonna look at this side of clothes now. Do a little skimmy skim. Um, they put some new bins in the back, so I'm gonna go check those out. Okay, pearl snap. Maybe. I also need to look up some of this front, my front stuff where the babies go. Lady Carol. There's a lot of neck staining. 
but it looks like a decent size. What size are you? 14? On. Okay, let's go to the other side here. Let's see what tunes over here. And they are also putting out new clothing bins right now. Oh. Look at this array. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, please. I will take it. Uh, it looks like a lot of kids. Which I'm not really interested. I like a good vintage Oshkosh. But other than that, not really a fan. But I mean, kids' clothes are super easy to post, but it's not my thing. It makes, brings me no joy whatsoever. And you have to have some sort of excitement, or else you're gonna just hate every moment of what you do. So, I post the things I like. What is this? Something fashion group? like a pink and camo. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I kind of love it. Is it reversible? No. I'm gonna look this up because it's strange. I like the strange. What's this? Got a little cabbage, cabbage patch. A little naked cabbage patch. Oh. Orvis, but it's like bleached or something. Okay, I'm going to head to the bath, new new, and we'll take a look at those. And then I'll look some of this stuff up as well, but I'll probably do that after I do the back bins. Oh, it's like a decoupage. And the record bin is busting. Ooh, let's hit these quick. I'll look at the rest of this layer, but I want to look at this breakable. Breakable bin before they roll it away. Anchor hawking. Oh, she's something. Doug Harris, I dig gardening. Russ. Hmm. Oh, oh god, these are fun. Let me see one of them. We got a lusterware bowl. Made in Japan. Sad pandas. Budweiser made in Korea. A little turkey picture holder. What's back here? Mikasa. There's a set of these. Huh. Maybe. Also, I have some of these. To post them. These are actually pretty good, uh, but I don't need any more. But I do have some. MSP. A 
not Wine glass, authentic, original, made in USA. something in here it might be a body you never know what people put cremated bodies in okay go into the back stay tuned okay we are at the new new one like this I got it from the bin I use it very unconventionally because it's my candy bowl at home <laughs> Hershey's a Hershey tin this is from 82 1982 oh I don't know if I can pass up a book tin oh they got a lot of mugs Large folk craft pine cone. Snowman. Saint Lucia. Oh, is it cute? I like that one. Where I just put one like this in my booth today. I'm pretty darn sure I did. Vintage cat mug, also enjoy. Ooh, this one's real cute too. The bear family. Mm, might have to get that one. is Royal Windsor. Are there more of you? A midi? Ten dollars. This one is broken. It looks like Wedgwood. No, Ainsley. But there is a little Peter Rabbit mug. Royal Albert. Beatrix Potter. Maybe. Highly pottery. But what goes on top? Oh, here's the same. Oh, that's the one I saw. Oh, God. Holly Hobby. Christmas 1974. Mother's Day 1981. Um, do I want the Beatrix Potter? I think I'm gonna leave that. Okay, I might go to the other side and come back. Or oh, just kidding. Just kidding. What is in here? Oh, a nice little picture. Alright, I don't want any of that. These are kind of fun. Strange. 
greens. Um, weird. There's like three different sizes. Are they like measuring cups? No. I don't know. Not by me. What's up? Threes home. Okay, let's go around the other side. What do we have? A massive vase. Oh, these are cute old sake cups. cleaner. These are made for International Silver Company 364 weight field. It sounds real violent right now. But it's mostly because everything's full of breakables. Also, don't judge me from my <laughs> terrible cart stacking skill. That's plastic. Wait. Is this plastic? No, it's not plastic, but what is it? It's like grapes. Is this plastic? Hand painted in America. Founded in 1772 by Father Junipero. Oh, look at this beautiful cat. Susan Cain. Oh, is it a car? Hmm. I'll look that up. This will be at glass price. One lot of that. There's two of these here. One bowls, but I'm gonna leave them. Oh, and they're both chipped. I thought I saw another cat. Yes, I did. But this oh, this one is signed Merrily Bow. Oh, look at that beautiful cat. Okay, one is back here. Jack's Bishop, California. Oh my, look at this. Quite the base. Okay, what are these? Swirl, hand-painted collection. This 
1992 flowers balloons made in Korea. stuff I'm gonna put back some that I don't want and then I'm going to keep it moving 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 I got a lot of bins to get through when do they close um maybe an hour and a half I'm doing pretty good I'm doing pretty good time wise that's a nice Nike actually probably someone's throwback Okay, I'm gonna look up some of this. I'm gonna put back the breakables in the bins, breakable bins, if I don't want them. But I will be back. Okay, I put back some things. Um, I put back the camo coat with the pink interior. I just could not find anything about it. And the like tag was really hard to read so anyways I just put that back Woman what is this comfort colors confident woman um I put back some mugs mm, I think that's about it everything else I kind of kept for now I do a final clean out before I go to the checkout but that's my initial the initial clean out okay I'm putting out a new row of hard goods I'm gonna let the swarm go through that and then I will go take a peek at that one I still have quite a few um Hard good bins to go through. Oh, this is a Okay. Susan Bristol, made in USA, size 14, which is a nice size. This is a skirt? Uh, no, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave it. Corvus. Ooh, that's nice. It's a little snaggy. Ooh, fun. Tiger. What? Tiger Miss. Look after me. Designed in Australia, made in China. I like some really funky pants. Oh, look up Tiger Mist. Sure. Cable engage. Bobo. Some 
sincerely, Jules. Was that really Jules good? I can't remember. I'm gonna leave it. Banana Republic Dawson, 3432. Like a wool pant. A men's wool. Feels like wool. Wool nylon. Probably a decent pickup, but I don't really want to get a wool pant right now. Going into summer. Like, I don't really care about picking stuff up all throughout the year, but I have to say no quite a bit actually these days so that we can keep up with the posting keep up with the YouTube Tamont and Nandia also I've never seen that one before mm. let me look at the tag again made in India I'll look it up. I'll take a peek. What is this? Some pajama pants. But yes, I am still actively trying to post my obligatory 8 to 10 items a day, mostly on eBay. The other platforms get items when they get them. But... I do have to, well I don't have to, but I also do the videos and edit them and upload them. Oh, they're kind of cute. Which also takes a decent amount of time. Another Susan Bristol. I 
actually, I think it's just the slide holder. I don't think there's actual slides in it. Um, I think I'm gonna look at the meter. We'll come back and poke at these maybe, but I'm just gonna go see what they have. Because a lot of these are looking slim picking. Okay. Look at the new new. Like that's something you can just get off of Amazon. I guess they're wrong. Oh my! Doing the split. a little person. Pretty sure. Oh. Oh, where does arms go? Oh my god, that's Gus Gus has been mutilated. Okay. Go to the other side. Kind of looking like dead blight. very moth like really moth -bally. Okay, I think I'm gonna go, ooh, he got the cat. I'm gonna go to the shoes and look at the shoes. And then I might hit up the newest clothing bins. Dirty, look at these. 
I think I have partially did. Uh, but yes, look up some stuff. Shoes, clothing. Hang on to your pants. Okay, time. Shoes, shoes. feel really light. Ooh, there's a lot of dirty, dirty shoes in here today. Ooh, I don't even want to touch that. It was a pretty slow sell. I'm gonna leave this. We're kind of boring. Hey, dude. Fisher Price Doctor Bag. These are Wolkies, I believe, but they're really warm. I bet you these are. Eh. No, they're not completely dead. Report. Sketchers. M. The brand is M. Leaf. Those are weirdly heavy. Blowfish. Plus. <laughs> Is there another? grab bags. Only three. It looks like those two are body 
stuff, lotion, sun lotion, soap. And then there's like a thing of utensils. And someone's throwbacks. Oh, we have an old bike, Columbia Sports 3. I wonder if this one's worth $500. It is $25. It's a really fun old bike. It needs a lot of help, but there's also a lawnmower. Is this electric or no? No. It is seven. We have a massive. This is kind of cool. Uh, art by Jack Terry for 10. Okay, let's look at some clothing. I do know these are new ish. These are kind of sort of new. Scott McClintock, 14. It's kind of nice. It's like a velvety dress. Might be like off the shoulder. Hmm, I might look that up. What is it? Dockers. a good weird sweater. Oh, and it's a vintage Orvis. I wouldn't say weird. And it actually looks like it is not stained up or anything, so, yep. Yep, please, I'll keep that. Paulette Julie Paris sailor top. That's cute. Super stained though. What are you? Glittery thing? I don't like glitter actually. It gets all over everything. Truth by Republic. Wool, acrylic, polyester. Selling it for twelve ninety nine. We'll see about that. Say Carver. Something 
white for Saks Fifth Avenue. It does have a lot of staining. I am curious. I'm not going to get it because of all the staining, but I wonder how that does. Okay, I think I'm gonna go look at the new, the newest clothing bins to come out. Rexology? Okay, Let's go to the new ones. The new bees. Capri. a lot of Target donations. Lane Bryant, size 22. That's a cute shirt. Mitty. What is this? if I've ever seen a Columbia coat that's like a trench. out of the bin. Platinum by Dorothy Sholeen.
that stuff. These are like uber vintage Levi's. But they're super stained. Hmm, I'll think about that. this off at my cart. Um, I think they might be putting out one more row of breakable. So if they are, I will make sure. Oh, it's a Star Wars costume. Hmm, maybe. Um, but I'm going to look up some of these clothing weed some out and Javan. I will be back. Okay, we got a few things out of those bins. I threw back a few things, but I'm gonna go look at a little chunk of breakables that I haven't been able to see. Um, and then I'll be doing an overview. They started removing the um, they started removing the bins from the floor, so, so no more new bins for today. Porcelain Balleroy made in France. Oh, might, might check that out. Is that in there? Okay. Um, I don't know. What are these? Hand-painted Vernon made in USA. Looks like people did their throwbacks here. Bleeding Edge. Does he like open up? No. Cricket thing. Hillary Fieldwear Collection made in Korea. Mm, I'll look that up. Oh, there's some more of those. Debbie Segura. Oh, look at this. I don't know what the purpose of it is, but it's cute. Kikusu, China, made in Japan. It did not break. I would like to just say. No. Fred David. What is this? Oh, some kind of anime. We have a cookie jar. A scratched up test plate. This looks like folks graph. Okay, did I see the rest of these? What is this? Can handle 
purple pearl snap. I think this is a vintage one. Designed in Texas, made in China. Hmm, see about that. on a Roomba. Okay, I am going to give you all a little recap of what I have found today. At to the bins, they are open another 50 minutes, but no more new bins. So I think I got through pretty much all of them. So I'm clean. Oh, this is a paper towel. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Okay, stay tuned for an overview. Okay, so I'm gonna start up here. I don't know what all I have under here, to be honest. Besides the Armani Exchange crazy looking vest. But I might move it so I can remember. Uh, first is this vintage Fantasyland. This is Disney Made in USA hand wash uh, wine glass. Next we have a Balleroy made in France, Limoges bowl with the gold rim. It looks like someone had it at a garage sale for $4. Um, these I'm just putting in my booth, like I was saying earlier. Um, for some reason, mugs are very popular in my booth, so I'll just keep putting mugs in there. I don't care, but I only put them for like 10 bucks. But I found a cute little teddy bear mug, a little Kit Kat mug, designed by Taylor and NG San Francisco, and another teddy bear mug. So I'll get those, put them in, see how they do. My first month is definitely like a learning process, and it seems like people are most interested in small and non-expensive not a lot of people are spending over like 25 dollars so i am learning as i go here but it's doing pretty well nonetheless next i have two little bowls by desert wear wallace china i have two of those and then two little like saucers but let's see what else i have and i can show you this our money exchange vest that is very funky. I think these are restaurant wear. They're like heavy duty. Okay. We have an Armani exchange extra small like um, vinyl and then the sides you buckle size extra small oh I do have quite a bit up here actually uh, next a Victoria's Secret I'm not sure I think this actually is a vintage one Victoria's Secret Teddy of sorts, made in Colombia, 36C, and it's like velvety and crazy and spicy and all those things. The Victoria's Secret um, vintage used to do well. I think it's definitely cooled off, so I might double check on that. This is knitted and knotted, kind of like a sweater top. I think this might be anthropology. 
I think. I'm not 100% sure, but. Um, then this is Classiques Entier. It's like a little vest, size small, red, with a, like, one class. They used to do well as well, and it's an expensive brand, but I'm not, I'm not 100% on that one. Okay, let us put this up here. I'm going to put my breakables up here. Okay, boy no. Uh, the other thing at breakable price will be this picture. It is Susan Keen, born in England, lives in British Columbia from 1985. A litho. I wonder if this was a card and they just like made it into a, I don't know, into a picture. But anyways, this will be breakable price as well. Okay, clothing-wise, we have a panhandle, pearl snap top, medium, just like basic purple with a white pearl snap. Not sure, I don't think this one's vintage. The label looks strange, so I'm not sure, but I don't think it is. Okay, next we have a platinum by Dorothy Sholene, size medium. It's a... Um, crop, crop top. I wonder if this is um silk. Let's take a pick. It's real wild up here. Uh, made in USA. Dry clean only. No, it's rayon. And it has like a funky little button button business going on. It looks like these two are missing a rhinestone, but it's a fun. Okay, next we have a pure cashmere, 100% cashmere, size medium, orange, full zip, uh, top. Goodwill was selling this for $14.99. Next we have a Star Wars Her Universe dress, size 3, which I'm not sure what size that would be. Maybe a 3X? Hmm, I kind of wonder. What is this? Is this paint? No, I think it is. I was hoping it was just like chalk. Mm. We'll see. I'll think about it. These do look to go for a decent amount, and the 3X would be even better, but we'll see. Cynthia Max, a very fun, neon y, 3 fourth length. It's a very lightweight top. Goodwill is selling it for $12.99. Not sure the size on this. We'll have to measure, but I'd say medium to large. Oh, I need to look this one up. This one is a Hillary Fieldwear collection made in Korea. Kind of out, outdoor vest. Not like the indoor vests, but the outdoor vest. Okay, next we have a Lane Bryant. Size 22, it's like a metallic-y. Uh, kind of peplum bottom. This is really pretty. I keep finding Lane Bryant stuff, but it's like kind of not fun. So I'm like, eh, I don't feel like it. Next, we have a vintage Orvis full button down. Looks like mm, maybe it's missing a button. No, there's just a big gap. Um, full button down cardigan with like flowers and birdhouses maybe? Really like that. That's a winner winner for sure. 
Okay, next we have a Scott McClintock size 14 velvety dress. Like a good velvety dress. Looks like it's kind of like off the shoulder type of look. And it's a good size too, 14. Like it, like it. Okay, next we have a Tiger Mist really fun and funky pair of pants. It's like gold, yellow. Are they bell bottomy? Mm. No, I don't think so. Um, I believe it's an Australian brand, possibly. But fun nonetheless. Okay, this brand, I guess it's sold at Anthropology. I did end up looking it up. Hemant and Nandida size large, kind of fun, floral and bird skirt, and it looks really nice, like barely used, if at all. We like those, we like those. Okay, next, I forget if Franklin Covey, their bags do well. I know their planners do, but I'm gonna look this up before I go to double check, but Franklin or Covey? Covey, whatever. Next, look at this beautiful array. This is pure beauty. I love this. It's probably my favorite thing I found today. Next, we have a pair of J. Renee shoes. Goodwill was selling them for $7.99. These are mm, kind of a smaller size. I'd probably say a Hmm. I'll have to figure that out. We have a little hummingbird pouch. I know a lot of places have these as like souvenir type items. I wonder what you put in here. Just whatever you want. But it is leather. Next we have a little tin Hershey Kisses milk chocolate. And this is from 1982, made in England. I like some tins. Next is Princess Anne, or Princess and Anne? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure the size on this one, but definitely vintage, and it looks maybe like a nine, but they're really fun. Ooh, this one's coming apart which can be fixed. You just have to glue it and clamp it and all of that stuff. But anyways, there is that. And then we have a Pearl Snap BKE top sold at the Buffalo, I believe. This is an extra large, which is a nice men's size as well. And the Pearl Snaps are kind of fun. Uh, Goodwill was selling this for $12.99. We did it. They close in 35 minutes. And they're like removing all the, the bins from the floor to get prepared for tomorrow. Bright and early where the next bins come out. All right, my fellow treasure hunters, if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would appreciate it. Lots and lots, holy moly lots. That's a lot. Um, all my stuff is posted on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari that I get. Some of the stuff I throw back before I um, check out, but, cause I have to look up some, some of the things, but overall I get most of it. So of course you can send me an email at hellohambakedyt at gmail.com and I can let you know a price. But other than that, we got lots of fun things on the horizon. So stay tuned. We have some Portland, some Florida, some Minnesota, my local bins here. So lots of fun things, lots of fun places. So hopefully I'll see you on the next one. And thanks for coming with today. Bye.